Welcome back to my YouTube channel AFM. Through this new video series, I hope to bring you a step-by-step -step approach for scanning your car by yourselves at your home. Here is the beginning. Make sure your vehicle is OBD2 compliant. Also I am using a OBD2 scanner and my car has a petrol engine on it. This is my scanner. And I am now connecting it to the OBD2 port of my vehicle. I have not yet started the engine. Soon after the scanner is connected to the port. The display comes in. Our first lesson today is to scan the battery voltage. Here you can see the waveform of my 12 volts battery. The vertical axis is the battery voltage and the horizontal axis is the time. You can see the display shows three values, the current voltage, at the present time. The maximum voltage. And the minimum voltage. When the car is not started. The battery voltage is expected to be around 12.5 volts if your battery is in good condition. And the curve must be fully flat against the time factor. I have released a separate video on battery charging and maintenance tips. I suggest you to watch it for more information on this topic. Now I have started my engine. You can see the battery voltage values rise upwards. This is in fact due to the activation of the alternator which provides energy to your battery for charging when the engine is running. You can see the voltage values, maximum is 14.3 volts and minimum is 14 volts. This is an indication of the health of charging function of your car. Depending on the power demanded by the vehicle accessories running at the same time, this curve can have minor ups and downs making it little rough than that of earlier. Enjoy working with your scanner and your car. You will make yourself familiar one day. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, Please like, share, comment and subscribe to our AFM channel and stay tuned with us. This is a part of our video series, carrying a step-by-step -step approach for scanning your car by yourselves at your home. PLS enjoy. Thank you.